Okay, folks, roll back for another roll plays. And continuing our look at the C64 month, I thought it'd be time to bring up another brand new game, and this is Maze of the Mummy, developed by Magic Cap and published by Citronic. Now, this one's been in development for quite a while, or more a holding pattern for quite a while. Um, the game was finished all the way back in 2014, but they ran into a lot of problems getting it onto cassette. Um, the original plan was to release on disc and tape, and ultimately they just couldn't get the tape loading to work, so it's finally been published, um, disc only through Cytronic, and it's inspired by um, an old PopCap game called Mummy Maze, so they've met, flipped the name around. Anyway, so the basic idea is you're a archaeologist in traveling through a bunch of pyramids, and you need to outwit the mummies in each one. So, there is a gigantic 225 screens. Because there are 15 pyramids you need to conquer. And here's our map. So you can see there's 15 pyramids there. And each of those has 15 screens. So let's pick the first one. And dive in. So again we just hit the load. Um, right now my physical copy is still waiting to be shipped. Because I pre-ordered a couple of other Cytronic releases. Which hopefully I'll be able to cover in due course. So they haven't quite launched yet. But I have the disc images. So, yeah, do it. Anyway, so as I said, this is a puzzle one. And the basic idea is you need to get to the exit before time runs out. So as you move, you move a square at a time, the mummy will move too. So you can see you've got, and you're against the clock, of course. So this first stage, I, I was able to trap him pretty easily. And that's the big thing is, um, it's really about trapping the mummy so you can get out of the maze safely. So we sort of saw that first stage. Now, for this second stage, if I move directly to the exit, he will get me. So what we do here is we've trapped him. Because he'll always try to move towards you. Now, at this stage, he can't really do that because he, he is at all. But now, because he's moved up vertically, he can move towards me. But that's okay. I've got plenty of room. And you move on to the next stage. Now this one. It's the fifth one that gets really interesting. That actually had me stumped for ages. But this one as well. You can sort of see. Now it's all about just going through the rest of the maze. It does plot a bit. And I could see how some people would probably find it a little dull. And I'm finding it kind of. I'm finding it a nice challenge. Like. Some of the next stages you'll see in due course really did my head in trying to get through them. My only real complaint is there's no, like, safe system. So the idea is, I kind of want to lure him down. No! That's okay. He'll come down off me now. Yeah, he's trapped. And stage done. So it's it's really just about that lining up. Now this one, this one was painful. I actually took a photo of it on my phone and, and tried to plot it. And now I'm dead. Oops. You can, and I should use this, you can actually... Okay. So you hit space, and you can undo moves. Which is pretty cool. And that's what the credits is for. You have... You lose 10 credits for dying. And 10 credits for... Oh, you lose 10 credits to die, like I've just done now, and then you lose... And then you use up an additional credit. Cool, there we are, got him. Maybe not. No. No, no, no. No. 
I thought I had this one nutted out. I actually made it a little further. Um. Oh, I'm out of... And I'm dead. It's where it gets a little infuriating. And I'm... And one of the things actually frustrates me a bit is that there's no means to um, there's no means to like password save. So move up. If I move to the right, he's going to move down and get me. If I move to the left, he's going to move down and get me. And I can't move up. Okay, this is... Oh. Alright. Hmm. Oh yes! Okay. Really frustrating, that one. And you can see I didn't get a great score. Alright. I remember this one fooled me around a fair bit, too. So, hmm. See, and this is kind of my frustration, because now if I start it again, I will need to go through that entire, all those stages, and I wish I could just have a password to go straight back to that stage. It's my one big complaint. Because truth be told, it's presented pretty nicely. The loading's pretty quick. Um, it's actually a different kind of puzzle game I don't think we've had on the 64. And yes, it's of an old pop cap game, and your mileage might vary on your thoughts of that. But they've, they have taken it their own direction here. I actually really dig it. And I had no problem buying it on disc. So, as always, there's going to be a link in the description. Um, where you can go check it out. But, you know, surely you know Citronic's website by now. Um, I'm going to have a look and see if we can start the second pyramid. If it'll let me do that, then we'll do a run through some of those stages. Otherwise, I may call it quits here. Let's have a look. Yeah. Ah, curses. I'm hoping there's a password or something. The instruction sheet that came with the um, the download didn't really seem to suggest there was a save system or like passwords or anything. It kind of bums me out because having to beat 125 stages, uh, 225 stages, my bad, 225 stages in a single sitting, kind of not really what a good puzzler should do. But anyway, um, that's enough of that. I think I'm going to call it a video here. So thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I always love showing these new releases, and compared to some of the other recent releases in the community, I don't think this one's gotten a massive amount of hype associated with it. So it's great to sit down and um, give a little shirt, shine a little light on to show something that's probably worth checking out. Um, it is only available physically. Ordering the physical disc will get you the download. I know Citronic have been talking about... Um, some stuff to allow to be able to order a pure digital thing because of you know, UK license laws and that and EU stuff. Stuff I don't really understand being on the other side of the planet. So that is something that hopefully they'll resolve if you know you just want to play it on an emulator. 
but you know, as I always say, totally need to support the people who put their time and you know their hobby time and effort into creating really fun games, and this is certainly one of them. So of course, thank you for watching. Um, thank you for subscribing, for discussing, for having a chat in the comments. You know, I do like hearing you know, if this is one you've checked out and you managed to make it further than I have. Then nice one. Um, and of course, thanks to all the people who help spread the word. You know, if you really enjoy uh, stuff that I'm putting out or stuff that other people put out, you you know, you should really spread it around. It it helps show the love, and you know, it helps get a lot more people out there. Um, but of course, thanks again for watching. And I'll catch you all next time.